think people can play both, but realistically, people are going to choose one over the other, you know, where it's like us, like, I don't mind playing both, but some people just love to be stuck in their own little uh, bubble, you know? Yeah. Um, all right. I think it's time for some, uh, quick shots. shots. One day when, when YouTube allows it, you're going to take your firearm and shoot <laughs> out the window. I could, dude. Yeah. Cause the second you hold that weapon in your hand right now, you're, you're, the stream Bam, will get shut yeah. down immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I've thought about it. I have a, my pistol target is literally right out this window. So I could like, I know, I know, dude, I can just, do it, you but. know. <laughs> it insta bandy it is the man it'd be great though i think i'll just plan on doing that so like if we ever retired in the podcast on the last episode i'm just gonna fucking do it dude i'm just gonna have the window down like it's time for the quick shot <laughs> and, I'm just gonna shoot that point. and we'll go oh, out a blaze man. of glory we'll go out a yep. blaze of glory in a minute. Yep. So um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was Road to Vostok. Uh, we followed this along. We've even interviewed the developer, Auntie, uh, several episodes Auntie. back, which was super awesome. So shout out him. Uh, he's super cool. He's got his shit together. The game's looking awesome. But two big things came, came out of this uh, devlog that we've been following along with. Um, he got a sponsorship and working together with a Finnish apparel company. So making like realistic um Sabota. clothes backpacks everything Sabota. Say right? Finn Sabota. that's kind of how he said it but Finn. i'm not yeah, sure yeah i was trying to uh, i was trying Sabata? to say it right mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> Sabota or something like that and then he's also Dude, working horse on with the camo on it was sick yeah yeah it was they had a they had a horse in like a camo ghillie suit it was sick um <laughs> so they're doing uh and he's working on version two of public demo two and then it's going to be like full bore on to early access. So it's really exciting, uh, making really good progress um, on the open source Godot engine, a Godot, whatever. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Um, the other thing, did you see the free cam blue? Did you make it through the whole thing? Yes. Yep. So they're, they're, yep. It's only like adding, a 16 minute dev log. It's actually pretty good. Good time. So. Uh, he's adding it in there. It's called uh, Road to Vostok Fly Cam, and it's a cinematic camera that you can do anything with. So you can go into a map, you can change the sun, lighting, conditions, time of day, everything. You can change uh, the depth of field. You can do camera moves at variable speeds. You can do crane shots, slider shots, pan in and out, and everything. So like a full cinematic tool for creators to make stuff nice. you know so what i'm doing man you know what i'm doing so blue is gonna be in hog heaven i just saw that and i was like blue <laughs> he's he's gonna be able to make i even know I, even like, like there, my so. uh, fellow uh content creators i know um like custer plays and stuff like that he makes some really good cinematic stuff i know he'll uh, there's a lot of guys that will absolutely love using this so yep also that roadmap He's on it, man. It's great. Also, I wanted to know too, as well, um, who is recording. If it's him, I'm guessing uh, the footage in the factory and stuff like that, because it was actually just really good cinematic stuff as well, too. Yeah, here, is that you the know? shot with the horse? No, not yet. Um, not yet, but <laughs> no, it was see. cool. And then, yeah, no, the oh no, the that's that's from their that that video is from them There's specifically. The horse. Yeah, yeah, no, so, that, so the, the Savota like trailer is that I remember because I remember when I long time like a couple years ago I saw these guys because I was just looking up like camping gear and this is one of the companies that came up. So um I'm looking for a price new price too. I'm, I'm looking too. for a new hunting pack. Are they? Can you get Dude, it in the states? Some, yeah, you can get it. You can get it shipped over here. So they got nice. the website and stuff like that. So nice. And then they're, they're, like, game. their their uh their tent systems are really cool and stuff like that. So it's gonna be cool to see like their gear in road to vostok as well too so that's badass that's badass so no i look i look forward to seeing seeing more of this and the the demo v2 is going to be cool mm -hmm. and yeah whoever makes the devlogs is probably him makes everything else um they're right. like really well shot it's like a documentary like good stuff yeah especially this one in particular really like i feel like stood out from all the rest as well too yeah, it was really cool to see like the actual making that stuff it's not just like ripped together from china and sent from machines it's like actual people building the shit in a factory it's cool correct all right correct. 
So the next. Quick chat. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up with Operator? What's up with Operator? Bob? Oh, yeah. So Operator just had a new update. Um, they're going to do another one here, I think, next month also. But I think it's update 6.0 or something. Um, don't quote me on that. But Operator, it's, it's a PC tactical shooter. Um, again kind of along the lines of what we just talked about like zero hour ground branch some of those it's on a ue engine Pretty um early access still 